parking limitations on King Street will soon become permanent. Yeah, News News Jordan Sayova live on King Street in downtown Charleston. Jordan, this is all part of the police department's larger King Street safety plan. Well, Brendan, Carolyn, if you're on King Street during the weekend, you'll notice bags are placed over parking meters to stop people from parking there. Well, soon those bags will be replaced with permanent signage and stronger enforcement. Limited parking on King Street during the weekend is here to stay. We've seen some great benefits from it and we're wanting to make it more permanent. So we've got some signs that'll start going up next week. Those signs will inform drivers they cannot park on King between Spring and Calhoun streets from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. on Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. Charleston police made these changes last May through a pilot program. The new signage makes this role permanent on October 17th. I think it's great. I mean, anything to make this great street that we have here in Charleston on King Street safe, we're all for it. Some area business owners are happy to see the no parking rule stick around. You know, if you're going out downtown on a Friday night or a Saturday night, probably shouldn't be driving anyway. Police say without the signs, it's been hard to enforce the parking limitations, which is why you've probably noticed a lot of cars still parked on King every weekend. We've had to be a little um, lenient on when we ticket down there. Um, this is where that permanent signage is going to make it more clear that it, what days it is effective and um, the enforcement side of it. These changes all in an effort to keep bar goers and drivers safe. And by having that parking blocked off, we're not allowing people to just hang out on the streets there. They're either going into establishments or, um, you know, moving on to the next one. Now, city officials say there will be some alternative discounted parking at nearby garages. We have that information. We will, excuse me, have that information on our website, countonto.com. Reporting live in Charleston, Jordan Sayopa, Count on Two.